I'm doing my makeup, but I noticed that I have this thing oh, right here that's one of those name things. You know, it says the Hebrew meaning of Sarah. It says, noble and true friends trust you without question, born to be queen, which just sounds really ridiculous. But look at this one. It says, perceptive and intelligent. You seem to understand everything around you. I like that they put you seem to. <laughs> They didn't say you understand everything around you, you just said you seem to. It's like, don't get too big for your boots because you don't understand everything around you, but you think you do. <laughs> it's Saturday and I'm about to go to uni. I hope that wherever you are, you're having a wonderful morning. It is sunny outside, so I'm debating whether to wear a jumper or to put something cooler on and save my jumpers for when it does actually get cold. But, big news, last night in Sofia, which is the capital of Bulgaria, which isn't where George lives, but... It's where he's going on Monday, um, and it's where I was just last month. It snowed. It snowed in October. I know it's the end of October, but still, it snowed last night in Sofia, in Bulgaria. And it's the 25th of October. What chance do we all stand against the winter that's coming? <laughs> I'm about to head to uni, um, because it's Saturday, and that's what everyone does on Saturdays, right? But I need my keys. Where are my keys? Um, I'm about to head to uni because I have to print some stuff off for George for his student finance, and then I um, got my keys. Uh, I'm gonna look up some books for my English, and yeah, let's go. listening to the Walter Mitty soundtrack if you're ever walking a long way then I would definitely recommend it and I went and got some more food because I seem to have so much food but I got my student finance through yesterday so I'm happy oh. um, and yet again it is my third night by myself so all by myself in this flat. The creepy thing is that our boiler, which is in the kitchen, it makes noises by itself and the noises that it make makes always sound really like there's somebody around, which isn't really the best thing, but yeah, I don't know. Tonight I'm gonna have salmon and couscous but I bought some bread and I don't usually buy bread, so I'm gonna have some bread with it. Good evening. Um, tonight I decided to, well I was thinking, I was making dinner and as usual it's salmon and I was thinking maybe I could make couscous, maybe I could make uh, rice, something to go with it. But then I thought, no, because I bought some of this bread. I bought some of this bread which I rarely ever have but I really like French bread. And so it's a bit of a treat for me. So. It looks like a very sparse meal, but I know that this will fill me out quite a lot right now. But I have vegetables, fish, the salmon is also really good. It doesn't look good, but it tastes really good. And that's just garlic on top of it. I don't mind eating raw garlic, I would like that. Well, it's not raw garlic, but it's cooked garlic, but I just like it. And then nice fresh bread, I'm so excited. Um, and I do have some chocolate buns that I'm going to eat later on, so I'm not starving myself. This does look a bit like a bodybuilder's diet but I'm not a bodybuilder. I 
just watched Eat, Pray, Love, which I think was, is a really good film. Definitely has some areas that I wonder why they chose to put them in, but I think it is a really lovely film and it makes me want to travel far and wide as usual. And it is Saturday evening and Sarah is just chilling by herself. Tomorrow is the day that British summertime ends. Which is really sad actually. <laughs> um, right now I think, or in a couple of hours, the clocks are going to go forward or back. It's goodbye to another summer, I guess. Um, especially as today it's snowed in Sofia and I think it is still snowing in Sofia which is just blowing my mind. And I will see you tomorrow. An hour ahead. <laughs> my brain is just in like a million different pieces right now. <laughs> yesterday, I didn't do anything yesterday. All I did was work and look out my window whilst I was working and Catherine Zeta-Jones may well have just walked past my window.